Jesus. The fish is a better uh, electrical conductor than the water surrounding it, and so it, it captures the voltage, if you will. And there's a phenomena called uh, galvanotaxis, and that is uh, that is that um, the fish are actually drawn into the electrical field. We got to move fast here. Just dump them in. Here's the white sucker, and it is. 135, no, 136. Creek Chub, uh, 85. We're able to capture a fish by electrofishing, put this little tag in it, like a um, easy pass, and, and put it under the skin of the fish, release it, and come back every subsequent year. And that, that year, that fish is bigger. And, and that next time we electrofish it, all we're doing is passing the wand over it and identifying it. And the fish is obviously doing well. It's growing, it's doing fine. A lot of the things we're doing are not compromising the fish's ability to survive. The fact that we can take these fish out of electrofishing, throw them in and they swim right off, and then sometimes we see them feeding within the hour, it sort of implies to me that the, the, the discomfort that the fish is experiencing is not excessive. If its caudal fin hadn't been chewed off, it'd be longer, but look at that. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been chewing on that, but um, um, that's a pretty good size one. For a cup of minnow, that's a good size fish. Ah, slimy sculpin, 87. You need a picture of this one. <laughs> <laughs>